Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathy Miller. Welcome back to our channel. Uh, today I have a 10 by 10 canvas down, gallery wrap canvas, and I have my Sherwin-Williams color, which is great green. No silicone, no water, no glue. <laughs> I could hear an echo in my head from my allergies. This sounds so funny. So today I am going to do Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft, Watermelon Mist, Primary Elements, Deco Art Gold, 24 karat gold, I should say, Lucky Apple, Primary Elements, and this is Quinacra Dome Magenta by Golden, and we have our Prism Pour, which is Nep Neptune's Gaze. I love those Prism Pours. Mm -hmm. They're nice Pretty and glitzy cool. and Pretty vibrant. Pretty darn cool, Phil. Yes. Okay, so... Gonna see what we got going here, Phil. Oh, yeah, I don't know what you're doing today. So, this just, should be fun. Just doing a little swipe -a I think. We will see. We shall see. This is watermelon mist. Primary elements. Yeah, I'm trying to use up some of these Sherwin William paints that I have just enough left like for a small canvas like this. Oh, that's a good way to use it up, that's for sure. Yeah, that's what I figured. Why not? As you can see, Kathy is using the prison pour right out of the bottle. That's the neat thing about them is many times you don't have to add anything to them, although on the back of the bottle, there are some instructions if you do want to add some additives to that. Yeah, make sure you read the back of the bottle. And Prism Pour is one of the products of Color Art, Primary Elements, and all their other products. Kathy is an affiliate of Color Art, and you can get a wonderful 20% discount off of all, your whole purchase by using the link and discount code in the description box. And the discount code that'll get you 20% off is Kathy Miller 520 all small letters and numbers strung together. Not too many bubbles. Kathy is also an affiliate of KS Resin. You can get a nice discount off of their great products also. Again, a link and discount code is in the description box. I'm going to try this and see what happens. Okay, you're, you know, you're trying. No, I'm gonna use the larger one. All right, I, I think that's a great way to go. And you're putting cell activator on the back which is Oxide Black from Amsterdam and Australian Floetrol. All right. Ah. As you can see, Kathy doesn't skimp. She puts a nice amount of the cell activator on there, spreads it evenly. And Let's see what a, happened there. Give it a good smush on that one. Yeah, this, um, because this base paint's been sitting around. Okay. It might be a little tad too thin. All right. Well, but we'll we're going to find out. Because it might just be a little too thin. I'm not sure. But we will find out. I think you're going to lose most of that black we're streak on the this. edge. Yeah, we're going to lose that. That's okay. All right. Doesn't matter. You're happy with it. I'm happy. Doesn't matter. There wasn't much in that anyways. Starting to get some cells. Mm-hmm. They're starting to come up. Little by little. Got to let them perk a little bit, Phil. Absolutely. Look at these little ones over here. Little babies. Oh, those are kind of cool. Really cool. I think we're going to lose those, too. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget, Kathy has an Amazon shop that she has curated yeah, see, with many of the good. items you need for paint pouring. There's a direct link to Kathy's Amazon shop Ooh. in the description box. I don't have this on there right. Got to speak up. Oh, I don't have it on there right, I said. Hopefully it doesn't fly off. It's oh, there we go. 
Okay, I think this paint's too thin, but we're gonna see. I can kind of tell already that it's pretty thin. Sometimes when it, these uh, paints sit around, they get pretty thin. Well, we'll have to see what the final result is before we pass judgment. Yeah. But I can, I can kind of tell. Well, I know you can tell, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I can tell already that it's gonna be thin. Hey, there's like a rainbow. <laughs> Well, look at the size of the cells you uh, got when you expanded them with the spinning. Just really nice, beautiful, colorful cells. We did get some pretty big cells. I'm just going to get some of that paint off and tip this. Maybe you want to get some off of this, this corner here. Mm-hmm. I think I'm on. Well, I don't know if you'd have to spin it anymore. I thought you were going to tilt it. Yeah. Well, there's not really that much left on there, which is good. No. It's really good. This is actually pretty. It's really pretty. I can't see it. No, I know you can't. I'm just kidding. I'm joshing you here. I just, I'm going to bring it back to the middle as soon as I get this off here. You can come over here maybe and take a look while you're doing that. That's fine. These colors are really pretty on this green. Yeah, they are. Okay. No. What? No, 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 that'd be fine. Now I have some unsolicited advice, of course, for the day. Yeah. Is there any additional wrecking or? I was thinking, but I'm not too sure. Let me see. Add, I mean, I love the size and coloration of the cells. Um, I'd like to see a little more character to the painting. Well, the it, character is video. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> the character is videoing, Phil. You know, a lot of people take it wrong, too. You know, I make all this unsolicited advice and, and so forth and suggestions. And, and some people think I'm trying to tell Kathy, the artist, what to do, which is absolutely not what I'm trying to do. Um, just giving a little bit of an input, and most of the time she doesn't take it, which is fine. I understand she's the artist, and so don't, don't please don't take it the wrong way that I'm trying to tell Kathy what to do or influence her. Oh, what Phil, to do. we know you are. Yeah, no, because <laughs> <laughs> she's going to do exactly what she wants to do and the way she wants to do it. But at least I had my two cents worth in and got a penny back and change. That's all you get. Yeah, that great green you used for the base really is well, yeah, because I have some of these sitting around, so I thought, ah. Yeah, but it goes well with the color scheme you picked. Yeah, why not just use some, you know? And even though uh, there's more black than you normally get, I actually like that, too. It really is. Well, it gives a little bit of a contrast. Yeah, absolutely.
am I going to do here? Okay. I had to look at my direction. Kathy has one-on-one -on -one FaceTime sessions that you can purchase in her Etsy shop. You take them from the comfort of your home. Uh, there's no travel or lodging expenses or hassle you have to worry about. You're not in a class with a bunch of other people, so you get individualized attention from Kathleen. It's tailored specifically to what you want to accomplish. Perhaps you want Kathy to watch you do a couple of creations and give you advice and tips as you go along, or maybe you want Kathy to demonstrate a specific technique to you. It's very affordable, and you can, as I said, purchase it in the Etsy shop, which there's a direct link in the description box for that one-on-one, -on -one, hour-long FaceTime session. Wow, this enhancing is just... Okay, I'm gonna leave it now. Okay. Um, I was thinking I might wanna get put some hearts there and maybe going down here. I think that'd be fine. Did you want to like could, a do dark green or something? Or I thought I would use, uh, what do I want to use? Um, how about the pinkish color? Cause we don't have a lot of pink. Okay. I could use a darker green or the Cornacridone magenta, whatever one you think, Phil. <laughs> don't ask what me. What do you think? I, I, hey, I've already given you my unsolicited advice and my two cents worth for this video, so. And I took it. And you're on your own from now on. Um, maybe I'd like to do a, a turquoise. No, we're going to do the pink. Bring out a little bit of the pink. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, it depends. Okay, make sure you know where, where your top is. I'm going to go here. This is my top. This is oh, the top. Oh, okay. All right. Or, well, yes. let me look at it. I figured this would be my top. Okay. Yeah, so the parts, tail's going that way, that way, and then mm -hmm. down, down this way. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sounds good to me. Yep. That's what I figured. Anyways. Okay, wait. I got to put this because I don't want to drip this on there. Okay, people. So basically, when you do the hearts, you're taking what? Just another um, paint, correct? Mm hmm. Or one that you have in your creation. Okay, stop. But I mean, it's not a special recipe or anything. You're just using one of your normal. Right. Okay. The thing doesn't want to. Your, your spinner stop. is so good that it spins on its own. Yeah, it's driving me nuts. Let's see if I can. Just driving me nuts. Just, it stopped. I, okay. I'm good. All right. Kathy does have a Facebook group called Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. She'd love to have you join. It's growing tremendously. The neat thing is you can post your own creations, ask questions, make comments, it's a wonderful group with a lot of fantastic artists. We do have 10 rules you need to abide by. There's a direct link in the description box in order to become a member of Kathy's Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller Facebook group. And as long as you're watching this video, Kathy does have, of course, her YouTube channel by the same name. And she'd love to have you subscribe to that. Uh, both groups are free. The YouTube channel has over 600 videos that Kathy has done on the different types of techniques that she does, along with, of course, the discount codes that I mentioned earlier in this video. So join up both groups. Okay. Oh, this is going to be really neat. Okay. Now, There wow. we go. Really sharp. 
I'm glad you picked that color. I love that color for the base. Yes. And I, you know, I don't have much of those colors left, so that's why I said I have to get them on a smaller canvas because I don't have a lot of these colors and I don't have enough for a large canvas. Well, but I was actually I love talking this. about the colors for the hearts. Oh wow. <laughs> Is that, then uh, you have to specify so. Great accent to the Okay, let's coloration. see some of this glitz. I know there's glitz on here. I can see it already. Okay, where are we? Okay. Whoops. Oh, look it. That's that prison pour coming through. Can you see it? Go mm -hmm. slow. You gotta go slow because then you can really see you can really see it the slower you go the better you can see that glitz oh look at that that's what i said i mean it's amazing yeah the slower you go the more glitch you get it's beautiful look at this mm -hmm. oh it's pretty Okay, hey everybody, if you like my creation, give me a thumbs up. Um, go ahead and just, you know, do whatever you want. Um, Phil can give you some of his, you know, unsolicited advice. <laughs> he always does, but a lot of times I take it. Sometimes I don't take it. Like he said, he's not telling me what to do. He just has something in his head, and I appreciate that. Some people take it the wrong way. Please don't take the wrong way because he's not being bossy. I don't allow him to be bossy. That's bossy, for sure. <laughs> no. I know who the boss is around here. Phil is not bossy, and actually, I'm not bossy either. That's why we're married 51 years. If we were, this would have never worked. So, um, like he said, subscribe to our channel. Head on over to our Facebook group. And uh, I had a great time with all of you today. So, stop by again and uh, subscribe and hit the bell. Hope to see you soon. Love y'all. Bye.